And this morning's Quick Bites, our TV maitre d' says that now that we're in the midst of a two-week pause, he too will pause and remind you again about a popular East Greenwich waterfront restaurant that's now open year-round. Here's Joe Zito with this week's Quick Bites. Let me just say a talented new chef and an exciting new menu are getting rave reviews. Right here at Finn's Harborside on the East Greenwich waterfront. Owner Mark Finn knew that executive chef Teddy Espino was the man for the job right from the start. The minute I spoke to him, I, I kind of felt he was the right guy for the job. He's very experienced. It's really like the wow factor. People come in and they say, oh my God, that was an unbelievable meal. Thank you so much. The background that I have is Mediterranean style cuisine. People always applaud me for the food that I make. They like the food, they like the seasoning, and I'm excited to be at Finn's. It's a great place to work, great family. Signature menu items include his mouth-watering paella, seafood salsa verde, his hearty and flavorful bolognese, and baked stuffed lobster with shrimp, scallops, and crab meat. And Finn's will now be open year-round too. Hooray to that! They offer a wonderful upstairs private dining room suited for all signature special events. You'll notice newly installed plexiglass at the bar. And get this, they'll be adding high tops and TV screens in the pub area so you can enjoy football safely. And there's a digital menu app too. General Manager Connor Finn. We're trying to minimize the the touching of the menus and I mean we still have the hard copy menu but when you walk in the door and see the host stand they're gonna ask you to scan the QR code scan it with your camera on your phone and it pops right up so when we bring you to your table you have the menu right on your phone it's pretty easy so we have great acoustic duos or solo artists that come in play on the stage outside listen and have some great cocktails and food while you're hanging out there if you haven't been here in a while I think it's a it's a good time to come back try us again you won't be disappointed in the food and the view you know the view so can't beat it for 12 news I'm TV maitre d Joe Zito with this week's quick bite now here's your pinpoint weather 12 forecast well, good morning. You can see some pretty views about to take place uh, across southern New England when the sun comes up. It is chilly out there, though, and it is breezy, so do not let that catch you off guard. I'll put up that really exciting wind chill map in just a second. First, we're going to look at these current temperatures. We're above freezing across most of the area, so 34 in Providence, 35 Newport, New Bedford at 35, and 34 in Wesley. So if you do have to travel early, you're going to see actually some, some puddles, some liquid on the roads. However, there are some locations which are below freezing, like right here in Smithfield. Now, this is a zone where we had an inch or two of snow. Some of that may have melted and kind of frozen up overnight, so there may be some slick spots out here. One thing we have working in our favor, actually, to prevent widespread black ice would be those winds. These Breezes from the northwest tend to dry things out, so if we did not have that, I think this would be a little bit more widespread in terms of that ice. But with these winds, I think it's going to be a little bit more isolated and patchy, but do use caution if you're out there, especially on some of the parking lots, sidewalks, steps, and things like that. Check out these gusts, 29 miles an hour from the northwest in Smithfield, 23 in Providence, 24 in Newport. Obviously not as strong as what we had yesterday, but still noticeable. 30 from the northwest on Block Island and 17 from the northwest in Westerly. And that is doing this to the wind chill. So this is essentially what it feels like when you factor in the combination of the temperature and the wind. It feels like 22 in Smithfield, 25 in Providence, Taunton at 28 for a wind chill, 26 in Newport, Block Island 24, 28 in Westerly, 25 for a wind chill in New Bedford. Now, this is one of the snowier spots from last night's storm, even though it was not a big snowmaker. This is North Situat this morning. You can see that blanket of snow here on the grass and the potential of some of these uh, slick spots out there this morning, especially anything that's untreated. Newport, how gorgeous is this? We have the sun coming up shortly, a few clouds here in the background with temperature around freezing. Now, the reason we're gonna see those breezes today is the departing nor'easter. You can probably find it. You don't need a meteorologist to tell you where it is, right? Well, that's my job, I'm gonna tell you anyway right here. You can see the wind swirling behind it, creating those fairly powerful gusts from the northwest. And as this departs, those winds will tend to slacken up later today, but it will get pretty chilly behind that system. So hour by hour we go. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures probably topping out in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees, around 39 in Providence, 40 in Taunton. 
39 in Newport. And then this evening, 7, 8 p.m. dropping fairly quickly down towards freezing and then overnight lows into tomorrow morning going to the 20s. Here's your wind gust forecast, very similar to what we're experiencing right now. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon with gusts generally between around 25 and 30 miles an hour, although here on Block Island you could get gusts closer to around 35. And then this evening, as I mentioned, temperatures dropping below freezing down to around 30 at 8 p.m. 11 p.m. temperatures down to around 29, 28 at midnight with mostly clear skies. So in the seven day forecast, it's actually fairly quiet. Now we have some cold numbers showing up, especially tomorrow morning down to around 24 degrees. And if we're planning out your Monday here, we'll see those temperatures gradually rise only through the upper 30s. Then on Tuesday, same situation, temperatures staying in the 30s for high temperatures. There will be an offshore storm on Tuesday. We're going to have to watch that carefully right now. It looks like it stays offshore, but it's a close enough call where all eyes will be on that one. Then on Wednesday, mostly sunny, high temperature of 40. Towards the end of the week, temperatures getting into the upper 40s to around 50 with a chance of a few showers by the weekend, although not completely sold on that. That's a long way away. In the meantime, a fairly dry looking forecast. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. And Kate, as we mentioned, you know, a few slick spots possible out there this morning. Mm -hmm. I think most of the treated roads, things like that are going to be okay. And, you know, it seemed like at a time yesterday there might be some power outage concerns, but I just checked the maps for Eversource in Massachusetts and National Grid. Maybe like a handful of people, but that's about it. So that's a good sign. Yeah, too. very good sign. You know, one of the good things about the storm underperforming a little bit yeah. when it came to snow is you didn't have as much of the snow clinging to the branches, mm -hmm. which can kind of create those outages when you combine it with the wind. So I mm. think that's one of the reasons those numbers are lower this morning. All right, good signs. Yep. Thanks, Pete. Well, how about this? Uh, we are going to take a break now, but next we're going to be going to sports and we're talking about PC Friars basketball rebounding with a win Saturday night. We'll have full highlights and more next. You're watching 12 News on this beautiful start to our Sunday outside, though it is chilly. It's coverage you can count on.